what is going on people we are back again with another video and this one here is season four episode one of 90 day the single life but we are covering natalie and exactly what went down with her in this episode and as you can already see natalie's mom has finally finally made it to america which is absolutely amazing for her because she's reunited with her daughter but sadly she won't be reunited with mike because you know mike is no longer with her with her daughter even though mike has always been so lovely to her and he has done a very good job supporting throughout the whole situation with Ukraine and Russia. So shout out to Mark on that one. You know what I mean? He's probably done more for her mother than Natalie did for her mother. But hey, it is what it is. With that being said, though, let's not waste any more time. And let's see exactly what goes down in this episode and see exactly what opinion Natalie's mom gets or not, not yet, what opinion Natalie's mom makes of Josh. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I need to disappear up here first because uh, subtitles and all them kind of things. But don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thank you. Я вообще догадалась и подумала сразу, что это не то, когда мы приехали в аэропорт, а он нас не встретил. Я, ну, я считаю, что странные какие-то отношения и какие-то неискренние, что ли. I mean, listen, straight off the bat, you know, Natalie's mom arrives in Florida, and then after Florida, they then, at some time, they then took a flight to LA. In LA, they were meant to meet Josh straight there at the airport. He's not there. Mom's not happy. Of course, she's not happy because your daughter's told you that we're going to be me and my man, and he's nowhere to be seen. That is definitely not a good first start. But at the same time, though, if I'm Natalie and this happens, I'm going to be questioning my relationship with Josh 100%. But of course, now they move into the accommodation that uh, Josh was supposed to get them, but he didn't. So because he didn't get them, <laughs> Natalie's had to pay up. Let's talk about that. She talks about a responsible man. You know what's so crazy? Whether or not Josh is responsible or not, the bigger question is, is your daughter responsible? That is the question. And that is the, that is the issue that I've always had with Natalie. In fact, Natalie, for me personally, is the, per, is the cast member that I dislike the most out of all of them. Because with Natalie, she comes with a level of, of entitlement. She expects a man to come in her life and give her every single thing that she believes that she deserves without even lifting a finger. And when I say without lifting a finger, I'm not talking about without going to the kitchen or cooking for the man. I'm not talking about not going out there and, you know, and doing certain things that a woman's supposed to do. No, no, no. I'm talking about that she doesn't actually make effort to really connect of a guy literally she finds a guy she looks at what he has and she goes boom i want him okay and then as soon as she, she, she's got that guy she's like okay boom now i want you to marry me and i want you to give me a kid boom bam she doesn't even go through the process of actually trying to court someone of trying to actually get to know somebody to see if this person is for her because in reality if she knew if she was someone who did that her and josh wouldn't be here wouldn't be here right now because we saw last season that Josh cancelled her a lot of times. He let her down several times. And let's be real. How many women, how many men out here right now, if you plan something with somebody and they let you down time and time again, are you still going to want to be with that person? You see what I'm saying? So the fact that she's, she's still here, <laughs> and mom was talking about responsibility or a responsible man. No, no, no. You've got an irresponsible daughter. You've got a daughter who hasn't got expectations that are realistic. You know what I mean? She's got expectations that no man in today's world is going to want to put up with. Because at the end of the day, I can promise this now, any man's man, he wants to get to know you and make sure that you're the right person for him. Especially a man that's been through a marriage like Josh and he's got kids like Josh as well. Well, you know, with Natalie, she doesn't give a damn about nothing. She just cares about what she's worth. But hey, how do you know what you're worth if you're not really out there getting to know people and l letting them get to know you? Do you see what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. If you don't know what I'm, if you don't know what I'm saying, then whatever. <laughs> I know he's gonna come through and find an apartment job until we figure out our life together. Go to Columbus, Ohio for work. I'm gonna be gone for about two weeks. This, it's yeah. two days. Two days. It's not one week. Right. So Can then... you count? Really and truly. Can you count? Can you count? Go by. Well, this is how we have oh, to... Then I'm gonna have a home. Well, hopefully we find something tomorrow. If you don't... If we don't find anything tomorrow, then I'll find you a short-term rental. Until Josh, we, until cannot spend. You know, let's talk about that. So she's coming in LA. She's expecting Josh to have, you know, an apartment ready for her, a work ready for her, all these kind of things, right? But of course, Josh is unable to do that. All right, cool. So Josh is like, well, in that case, I can find you something temporarily. You know what? Before I even finish, let me play the next bit. I have to find apartment months by month. You take care of it. Okay, good. I always have the fear. You see this right here? 
Talking about you take care of it. I want to know something very simple. Who brings their mom all the way from Ukraine? Flies them to Florida. Then flies them to LA. And you don't even have a plan of your own. You don't even have a stable situation of your own. You have literally got your mom to fly across the world to a shiz show. Legit shiz show. Because you have been unable to actually find yourself a man that wants to be with you. You've been unable to... Well, I think the work situation is a bit different. I think that was a visa situation, right? No worries. But either way, though, you've been unable to get yourself comfortable in America. You haven't got a home of your own, clearly. You haven't got an income of your own, clearly. You haven't got a you haven't got a partner that actually wants to be with you clearly you haven't even invested time of actually finding a partner properly clearly but yet you will still clearly bring your mother all the way across the world to a better life in america away from the war in ukraine or all kind of things this is why i sit here and the mom said to talk about her about her daughter not having a responsible man no 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 this has nothing to do with whether Josh is responsible or not. This is due to the fact that your daughter's always trying to force feed herself to men and always trying to hope for the best and pretty much beg a man to take her. And most men don't want that type of energy around them. And when she doesn't get what she wants, what does she do? She acts out like a little spoiled brat. No man, man, wants to spend time with a woman that's acting like a spoiled brat. All men, men, all we want is peace. Somebody's going to come in our life get to know us for who we are we get to know them for who they are and that's it not someone's just gonna come in look at what i do and then just want to live off what i do everything that i worked hard for and also on top of that also still has the responsibility of his own children hmm. <laughs> oh, but hey now let's get into natalie phase two this is when natalie starts to do a whole reverse psychology type situation i always have this fear here we go what fear? But I'm not good enough. I, I just think that's maybe a, a small insecurity that you should... She wants more time. Understandable. I want to give her more time, but I just don't have it to give. Natalie has expectations of just having me full-time. You know, I have obligations. I have to work. I have kids. <laughs> he promised to find a home for me. Okay, I didn't realize he was your dad, but okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Im imagine, imagine being in America for three years and you haven't done nothing with your life. Just imagine that. I mean, Sinjin's pretty much Sinjin's the same. To be honest with you, I'm pretty sure there's other columns who are the same. To be fair. I can't be here. No, you don't understand. I don't know anyone but him. But go home. Are you joking? What I'm doing in the late? It's a lead. I sold my car. I have my mom. I don't have a door. I'm. I'm Tomorrow, we're going to go find a place. Like I said, we were going to do. We're going to look for jobs. Well, what do you want me to do about that? I'm so, so, you know what? I want to use the word ungrateful, but I'm not going to use the word ungrateful because you see, there's two things going on in mind here. One, I can say she's been so ungrateful because at least he's trying to give her options of trying to help her find an apartment and find jobs. I'm going to say, yes, that is where she's ungrateful. But then I'm going to say that this isn't a case of her being ungrateful. This is a case of her chasing a man that clearly does not want to put in the effort that she wants. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, this isn't about, and, and arguably, Josh may not even want to be with a point blank period. I think that's the easy thing to say, really and truly, right? But either way, though, he does not want to give you the energy that you want, the energy that you believe that you deserve, but yet you are here trying to force feed this energy out of him, trying to drag it out of him. What do you not understand? This man does not... <laughs> One, he doesn't care about you, or two, he really just can't do it because he's got responsibilities of his own, point blank, period. And also, three, he probably just barely even knows you, to be honest with you. And you know what's so sickening? I saw in the preview of this season, hmm, do you know what Natalie does? She goes off and tries to beg for a certain person to come back in her life because she wants to have children. You know what that person is, right? <laughs> That's the same person that currently right now has filed for divorce, and it's about freaking time. Hmm. Supposed to magically give you a house? Console, sinks, and you must meet and find this place. Well, this was not how to reconnect. Let's go. I said if somebody would come from another country to a state, I would at least worry about where this person gonna stay. Like I don't have place to live and he's even after tomorrow. What
<laughs> you know what's so funny? She talks about him not being worried about something for her to stay. But hold on a minute. I've got a question for you, Natalie. Are you not worried about what your mum's meant to stay? You're fussing about him not worrying about where you need to stay, but yet you brought your mum here without worrying about her being comfortable and her having a stable place to stay. How about that? Where's that conversation? So, so selfish, so entitled. All about you. That's it. It's all about Natalie. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. Nonetheless, though, you guys let me know exactly what you're thinking down below in the comment section and uh, let and we can talk about it. But boy, this season right here is going to be something else. But stay tuned because I've still got other people to cover from the first episode as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace. Oh.